Hey guys, it's been a while since I post anything Reef related, so I figured I'll just um, do a little update video. I've been a bad owner. I have a tendency to go in and out of hobby and interest. So this time, I think I probably took like three months off where I did nothing. I just like topped off water and like fed the fish maybe once, once a week, even with that. But um, I guess nature just have a way to adapt, and things that go really well, even better than when I'm tweaking the tank. They just find a, they just find like a balance and just grew, and it's great. I mean, I really like the grown and look. It's not much right now, but I mean, compared to before, it's a lot more. Actually, I was just, I actually just wiped the front glass a little bit just so we can uh, kind of look in a little bit, and um, so a lot of coral is kind of closed up. But look at this. So. Through the, through the three months or so of doing nothing, I didn't lose anything. Not even a coral. Um, two clowns still doing happy, and I think in much better shape. I think um, the female one was a little bit overweight before. Cleaner shrimp still hanging on, it's finding enough food to eat. Um, before I added four sexy shrimp in there and they all disappear within two weeks, but somehow two of them appeared again, so I guess that's a good thing. Frog spawn, I think, I think it grew even bigger now. Um, Pulsing Singular definitely grew. Um, it's it's kind of slow growing compared to other soft corals, but it definitely grew. They actually pulses, but you can't really tell because there's currents. People are saying that if you turn off the water flow, you, you kind of see it pulse. It's not going to pulse like Xenia because it's really slow, but then they do pulse, so that's their selling point. Um, green toadstool is close right now, so I can't really show you. The neon green tree leather really exploded. Like, I got this colony right here, and then the top colony also, like, it's just exp exploded. I guess it's time to, like, cut them and trade them. Oh, here's an interesting thing. Rose anemone stay where it is, but the long tentacle anemone move from the right corner to this rock. And they are touching. They've been touching for like the past month. I did nothing about it. I thought, okay, alright, maybe one of them is gonna go. But I guess they found a balance and they're sharing the rock happily, which I'm glad. And the clowns are really glad too. They're just going like back and forth, back and forth. Let's see, let's go for this side, see what's going on. Um, the clam, it grew, but it did not grow as much as I was expecting. I'm guessing one of the reasons because that I've not been doing water change, I've just been topping off, so I did not supply them with like enough calcium. So I might start, I might just start doing water changes so that the clam would not die from lack of calcium. Ricardia doing well. Green Ricordia. Oh, look at that. Cup coral. For the longest time, I would say at least like half a year, no polyp was ever extended, but it's not dying, just holding on. But now look, polyps are coming out. And here's an interesting thing. I had hair algae problem before. That's part of uh, the reason why I kind of just stepped away for it for a couple of months. I was just like tired of looking at it, tired of pulling it out. I just let it run. Oh look, I have hair algae problem on the surface. It's not bothering anything. I mean, it looks ugly, but that's pretty much it. It's no longer growing on rocks. They kind of just took hold on the power head and it's grew on the surface, um, which is great. It'll be easier to pull out when I get back into it, which is soon, I think. <laughs> oh look, there's one of the sexy shrimp. Throwing them in, I thought the clown's gonna pick them off as lunch, but they've been living peacefully together, so that's good. And let's see here. Gorgonia definitely grew. It was only like two branches before. Now it really, really just exploded. And lastly, let's look at the refugium. For the past months, I kept the light off, and I see that the cheetah is, uh, cutting back it got really thin before when I had the light on every day they were really full and really fat uh, let's see I've got some sponge going on there some fan worm you probably can't see it here but there are a lot of 
hot and mice shrimp, which is pretty cool. Alright, so that's my update. I think one night this week I'm just gonna like scrub it down, clean it a little bit, and um, do finally do a water change for some much needed trace elements, and we'll go from there. Hopefully, it'll look better. But I figure, you know what? If by not putting my hand into the tank it's doing so well, maybe I'll just clean it up a little bit, do a water change, and just let it sit a couple, couple more months. Who knows? Alright, until next time.